so before you wash um, your jumping castle you first need to set it up as if um, kids are gonna jump on it so here I'm just putting it um, down properly and then you just um, inflate it like that so to wash the unit you need soap you need a cloth you need a bucket you need um, a brush I'll just use a broom and then you need the hose for the water and for spraying the unit and yeah so here I'm just spray spraying the unit with water um, to make it easier for the stains to come out and then here I'm just um, washing the unit with um, water and soap I'm getting rid of all the stains that I can with um, with the cloth um, and the soap I'm getting into the um, areas that the broom will not be able to remove any dirt and when you're wiping down or washing your units just make sure you are as gentle as you can you don't want to accidentally scratch it or make any um, friction that was, that is going to cause a holes in it because um, it's going to affect um, your unit blowing up so just be gentle and just um, wash it as if you're washing a car or something um, just get um, the dirt and it will on the seams and yeah as you can see there just trying to get the dirt out on the small spaces that a brush is not going to be able to reach and then once you've done with that you will then use your brush as I've said I use the broom because I'm short and it helps me reach um, places that I can reach but basically the brush just helps to remove the tougher stains again you want to be careful and not to be um, very rough because you don't want to ruin your unit so you just um, be gentle and then um, reach the places that you couldn't reach um, with your arm and try to remove the stains that you couldn't remove with the cloth and yeah also dip it in the water with the soap and just brush away and the stains will easily come off as I said you don't need to be rough um, the stains just easily come off And then when you're done with the brush you just take your hose and um, spray the unit just to rinse off the soap and rinse off the, um, the dirt that you were removing um, you don't have to rinse it for a long time um, just avoid wasting water so just make sure that the soap um, is off and the dirt is off and then you stop um, with the rinsing you repeat this on all sides of the unit and also on the inside of the unit so now I'm done washing it and I'm just gonna let it blow so it can take out the water and you can wipe it if you want but I just let it be and I let the Sun do its job and dry it up for me but yeah that is how you wash a jumping castle and then later on I'm gonna show you how I pack it I'm so tired <laughs> so to pack your unit you need to um, first deinflate it so you just unplug the blower and then just let the, um, the unit take out the air on itself and then once that's done you need to um, lay it down properly um, as you can see there I'm trying to get the um, I don't know what those things called but the corners of the of the castle to line up so that when I fold it um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't get um, damaged so 
you just um lay down in place as you see me doing here like um the 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 pointy parts just lay them one on top of the other and then once you've done with that you just start rolling um i first start with the steps and then you want to step on it shoes off you want to step on it to make sure that you take out um any leftover um air that might be inside the unit and then you're gonna want to take your damp cloth and wipe any dirt um that may be underneath the unit because if you roll it you don't want it to um to make um the other parts of the unit dirty so this one we're using it um on the soil and it drained so there was mud stuck at the bottom of it so as you can see there i roll up i step on it to take out any access a and then i wipe out any dirt that may be underneath the unit um to avoid making um dirty the part of the unit that i already washed and you repeat this until your unit is rolled up just folding um, the unit so it can fit inside the bag um, yeah it depends on how big your bag is or how small your bag is but my bag came with the unit so it's a perfect fit if I can say that so I just uh, fold it up yeah, to make sure that it's going to fit in the bag and you want to make it as small as you can especially if you don't have um, a big baggy to transport your unit so you want to make it as small as you can um, to save space in your car to save space in your baggy and also to save space um, for storage so this is the bag so I just um, put the bag over the unit and make sure that um, the unit goes into each corner of the bag um, uh, my unit is small so I'm able to do this by myself but normally I do this with my sister but because it's small I can also do it by myself um, if it's a bit bigger I think um, you can still do it by yourself but I think you'll also need someone to help you so once the unit um, is in in all four corners you just roll it over and then um, tuck it in some more and yeah so if the a is um like out out it makes everything else very easy because if you can see now the unit is is still heavy but it's not that much heavy because there's no a in it and then yeah now you're just going to start um threading the string into the hoops of the bag to tighten the bag and um yeah, make sure that your unit is not going to unfold so you need to pull very hard normally my sister will do the pulling and I will um, pull hold the bag together and push down the unit but because now I'm doing it by myself I'm using my leg um, to hold down the unit and to anchor myself so I can pull as hard as I can because remember we're trying to make it as small as we can so it can save space for storage and it can also save space um, in your car or in your baggy when you are packing it. So I'm pulling with my arms and I'm anchoring myself with my leg whilst I'm also using that same leg to hold down the unit. And here you can see that I'm using my foot to, um, to prevent the string from um, being loose. And then I just pull again. You repeat this until you are done um, picking the unit.
that is how you pack a jumping castle. I'm so tired. But yeah, I showed you how you wash um, a jumping castle. You need hose pipe, water, packet, soap, cloth, a brush. I use a broom and time. So that's how you wash it. And to pack it, you just unplug your blower, wait for the air to go out, and you just roll it, push out the air, roll it, push out the air, and then put it in your bag. Mine is small, so I was able to do it by myself, but you can um, get someone to help you, stuff like that. And basically, the same thing goes for um, the water slide. So, 